We have been spending a lot of time indoors these days. And it looks like we're going to be spending even more time inside as this year drags on. So isn't it time we look at our HVAC systems? Yeah, it is. Did you know that poor indoor air quality can reduce the performance of office work by as much as 9%? And just think, that 9% of your workday could be spent watching Chalk Talks. Okay, maybe you haven't thought about HVAC systems and how they affect your everyday lives, but maybe it's time to do just that. Well, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In today's HVAC systems, energy efficiency and reliability play an important part in the overall system performance, and especially in terms of motor control and AC protection. But how can we make this better? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today, my guest is Ryan Sheehan from Little Fuse, and we're diving headfirst into the world of HVAC systems. We take a closer look at the various components that make up our HVAC systems and investigate the role that control units, rectifiers, inverters, and communication interfaces play in the health of your HVAC system design. All right, let's get started. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about HVAC system solutions from Little Fuse. Hi, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Amelia. Great to be here. So, Ryan, we're getting into AC protection and motor control for HVAC systems today. But before we get into the details, energy efficiency and reliability is crucial in this area, right? Amelia, crucial is is an understatement. As you can see, you know, the typical energy consumption in a commercial building is primarily taken up. Almost 40% of that is done by the HVAC system. In 40%, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars here. And reliability is also extremely crucial because if the these HVA systems spend downtime, you're also talking about significant dollars there and also, you know, not having access to a comfortable, well-ventilated facility. Other systems here that you see can take up a significant amount of energy is also lighting appliances, elevators, escalators. But like I said, the HVAC system is the significant consumer. So some of the typical energy consumptions of the HVA systems, the components that make up that consumption are the fans. Primarily, that again makes up about one third of it. You know, another 25% is the cooling and heating systems, along with some of the pumps and cooling towers. So how do we go about reducing the energy consumption in these systems? A lot of people are adopting what we would call smart HVAC systems. So you're controlling these motors and fans very efficiently, and they're all communicating together with sensors and doing so through a wireless communication, typically Wi-Fi. So you have the smart thermostat communicating with the fans, communicating with the control board. Every part of the system is working together there. So Ryan, what kind of trends are you seeing in this space? Yeah, so the trends, we're really seeing a significant amount of growth actually in the global AC or air conditioning unit shipments. You know, it's increasing from 110 million units to to 140 million units from 2020 to 2024. So that's a that's a 6% CAGR compound annual growth rate. The types of units we're seeing that are driving this are, are actually residential and large rooftops. Large rooftops meaning units that are for commercial and government type buildings. We're seeing this most significant amount of growth coming from the Asia Pacific region, and it's actually expected to remain that way over the next several years. And the reason for that is we're seeing all of the new facilities are being built with HVAC systems, and a lot of the older facilities are being retrofitted with them. We're also expecting that the large rooftop segment will outpace the residential and single room segment. Again, this is driven by new healthcare facilities, schools and educational facilities, government buildings, offices, and and retail and mall type facilities. Another reason that we're seeing a lot of growth in smart HVAC systems is the increased awareness of the importance of indoor air quality. So poor indoor air quality can actually have both short and long-term effects on human health. You know, it's also been proven that good indoor air quality can reduce fatigue and increase worker output. So certainly a, a driver in the office and commercial segments. And lastly, government-driven initiatives are driving growth here. Governments are putting emphasis on sustainability and energy conservation to make buildings and cities more eco-friendly and ultimately saving energy. So this is propelling the adoption of, of smart HVAC systems. 
Okay, so Ryan, I've interviewed engineers from Little Fuse a couple times in the past here on Chalk Talk, but what role does Little Fuse play in the HVAC systems in particular? Yeah, so Little Fuse products can help design engineers protect, control, and sense the equipment that they have and also help to increase the reliability. You know, we'll get into where Little Fuse plays actually in a couple of the subsystems of the overall smart HVAC system, including the control unit, rectifier, inverter, and some of the communication and user interfaces. Great. Okay. So Ryan, I think I understand the components of an HVAC system a little better now, but can you show me how the whole system works? Sure. So what we're looking at right here is a typical block diagram for an HVA system in a commercial space. The first block you'll see there is our control unit or control panel. It's the first step in taking power from the grid and then distributing it to the subsystems of the HVAC system. It'll then go to the rectifier inverter and then be DC to DC converted into several other distribution areas, including, like I said, the commercial interface and user interface. Great. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about the control unit and what exact Little Fuse products are used there? Sure. So first we start with the UL class fuses. The Little Fuse UL class fuses are high voltage and high current rated fuses specifically designed to help meet commercial building standards. Now, we have several sizes and packages based on the various protection requirements and subsystems of the overall HVAC system. And I do want to point out that our, our CCMR series fuse is actually the only UL class fuse on the market that's rated to 35 to 60 amps at 600 volts in the smallest package. Next, we have our type two surge protection device. It's specifically designed to protect the HVAC system against lightning strikes and lightning induced strikes. So lightning strike events actually cause a very fast, very high current, very high voltage spike on the power lines. This can cause catastrophic damage to individual components in expensive equipment that make up the HVAC system. So what the SPD does is protect all of the subcomponents and subsystems from these types of lightning strike events and can really be a first step in protecting, ensuring that there is no downtime in your system. Next, we have our Sidactor plus MOV protection. What the Sidactor and MOV combination does is it safely clamps system voltages as to not damage any smaller components such as capacitors, transformers, and other small electronics. This unique combination provides very high surge current capability with an extremely fast response time and very low leakage current. What this translates to is increased reliability and robustness of protection when compared to other competing technologies like a GDT or gas discharge tube. Next, in terms of AC line protection, we have our, our AK series high voltage TVS diodes. You'll typically find them on the secondary side of the transformer for clamping the AC lines to protect any downstream components. Our AK series offers good clamping and fast response time. It's available in both axial leaded and SMT form factors. Next are our three-phase voltage monitors. They have user-selectable nominal voltage and automatically sense the line voltage. What this does is helps protect the motor windings in your three-phase system from adverse voltage conditions. Next, it's also very important to sense the AC current in your system without actually influencing it. It's very valuable to know how much power the system is consuming to monitor efficiencies, and it can also be a leading indicator if you notice any fluctuations that there's an issue elsewhere in the system. And you can accomplish this by using a little fuse AC current transducers and sensors. Next, moving along to our time delay relays. What these time delay relays do is ensure that the fans and blowers in your HVAC system are turned on and off softly in order to minimize the back EMF from the magnetic coils when the fans are turned on. Little Fuse offers several different options with universal AC-DC operating voltage, solid state output, and total encapsulation for protection against shock, vibration, and humidity. These are also customizable to any customer requirements. Next are solid state relays. They're used for turning fans on and off. The solid state relays provide isolation between the DC input of the control signal and the AC output of the control fans. Our solid state relays have high noise immunity to prevent disruptions in the communication and control signals to ensure good signal integrity. Last but not least, the control panel door itself. In order to protect any equipment damage or even worse, you know, maintenance or repair personnel injury, 
Detecting if the control panel door is open or closed is important. Our read switch based sensors are ideal for proximity detection here and they're available in a wide range of packages and sensitivities. Okay, so Ryan, I think I understand that part, but what about the rest of the system beyond the control panel? Sure. So after you get through the main control panel, you start to get into the rectifier inverter stage, which help drive the efficiency of those motors, which again can be a compressor motor, a condenser fan, or indoor fans. And there's also the DC to DC conversion step, which typically will step down the system voltage from say 200 volts to, to more along the lines of 24 volts or 3.3 volts that help drive the displays, the user interfaces, and the microcontroller. So Ryan, what are the features and benefits of the Little Fuse products in these systems? Sure, so starting with the rectifier module, <laughs> what it does is it converts that AC line voltage to direct current. Our modules have very low forward voltage drop and low leakage current, which increases the rectification efficiency. With increased rectification efficiency, this translates to less heat generated during the operation and will permit for a smaller heat sink in the system which saves space and of course system cost. Next, you move to the switching power supply portion, so the IGBT. These are switches that generate the three phase AC output power to control the various motors in the HVA system. Our IGBTs have industry low gate charge requirements. This means lower voltage gate charge driver requirements, which means lower power needed to turn on and off these IGBTs. Simply speaking, this translates to energy savings and a more efficiently controlled motor. And in order to protect those IGBTs, we recommend our SMBJ or SMCJ TVS diodes. What it does is helps provide active clamping and allows the IGBTs to operate in a safe and active mode. Moving along to the high-speed fuses. These high-speed fuses really protect all of the downstream components in this system, like IGBTs, diodes, rectifier modules, and even motors from catastrophic, typically short circuit in rush current. Our high-speed fuses are designed to protect these components extremely quickly and protect against costly repairs and system downtime. Both the QS and the PSR series are rated to 700 volts in a uniquely small, robust package. Next is our NTCs, which are used to monitor the temperature of the IGBTs or the rectifier module to ensure that they're not overheating. We have several options of NTCs. They can be PCB mounted, or they can be integrated into the heat sink itself. These are vital in, in making sure that your system is operating at the proper temperature. Next, moving along to the user interface, what you wanna do is also protect the wireless chipset from ESD, which is electrostatic discharge, typically induced by the user that can come into the system from various ports like USB, HDMI, and ethernet. The discharge here can be in the neighborhood of 20 kilovolts, which is extremely high and can damage a lot of components. Ensuring that your HVAC system can continue to talk to each other wirelessly and communicate is very important in today's smart HVAC systems. You know, additionally, on the user interface itself, when a user is pushing a button or interacting with a touchscreen, there's also the opportunity for user-induced ESD. So we recommend our polymer ESD suppressors, such as our PGB 10603 series. It can help, again, protect that wireless chipset. So Ryan, with most industrial systems, there are certain standards that are applicable here, right? Absolutely. There are several standards that lay out the safety requirements that are required for basically all of the equipment and assemblies of an HVAC system. I don't have enough time today to go through each one of these today, but I can tell you that our products are tested to and pass the requirements laid out by these standards. Not only that, but our products help ensure that our customers' products meet these regulatory requirements. Okay, great. Now I can see how I could easily use some follow-up materials on this subject. What do you guys got for me here? Sure. We have dozens of resources available on littlefuse.com. The HVAC capability brochure is a great resource for continuing our discussion that we've had today. And we also have an interactive guide that's available. We have fuse industrial catalogs that can help designers select the right fuse for their application. We also have selection guides, such as our sensor, power semiconductor, and circuit protection guides that are more application-driven to show our customers how we can help improve the efficiency, reliability, and safety of their products. Very cool. Now, Chalk Talk is a global video series. Does Little Fuse offer support throughout the world? Of course. Little Fuse is very much a global company. 
we are headquartered out of Chicago, Illinois in the United States. We have sales offices, R&D and engineering resources, as well as manufacturing facilities all over the world. If you wanna contact our sales or field application experts for design help or to find a distributor on where to purchase LittleFuse products, there's a contact us link on the www.littlefuse.com website where we can assist you further. Fantastic. Now, Ryan, overall, what does LittleFuse bring to the engineering party here? What should my audience take away from today's discussion? We here at LittleFuse want to be your design partner for tomorrow's electronic systems. We're a global leader with broad product portfolio that covers every aspect of protect, control, and sense. Our engineers engage directly with our customers to help speed up product design and meet their unique requirements. We have a global customer service team that will help ensure you have the parts when you need them. Nearly all electrical systems have requirements set by global regulatory authorities. We at LittleFuse have expertise to ensure that your products meet them. We even offer to do the simulation and the certification testing for you to help you get your product to the market faster. And last but not least, our global manufacturing facilities are committed to the highest quality standards to deliver you both innovative and reliable products. Fantastic. Well, Ryan, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Amelia. Appreciate it. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about HVAC system solutions from LittleFuse. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube youtube.com slash ee journal.